Hello and welcome back to this step-by-step -step HTML tutorial for beginner series and in this video we are going to learn about HTML hyperlinks. I am going to add a clickable link to this web development text and also on the image so this will be clickable as well. So whenever our visitor will click any of this text link or on the image link they will be redirected to a new page. And finally we are going to talk about link targeting so that it will not load on the same page it will load into a new tab so without further ado let me take you to the code to demonstrate the step-by-step -step process and here the code is little lusty as of now so I'm going to make it little cleaner by giving some spaces and I'm going to attach the source link into the video description for you so that you'll be able to have some access if you need and if you have missed any of my previous tutorials of this HTML step-by-step -step series then I'm going to attach the link into the video description as well for you. So let me take you to the code again and as we want to give a link to this web development we have to select this web development text by anchor tag. Let's put anchor tag which we use like angle bracket A and then angle bracket. So our anchor tag has just started. We have started selecting from web and then development so as we want to close or actually select this part so we have to give the anchor ending tag here so let's give angle bracket forward slash and we'll have this indic tag so our anchor tag started here and ended here so we have selected web development with our tag now it's time to give the reference on where our visitor should visit whenever they will click on this web development clickable text so let's give it we have to give the reference and other informations on the first starting tag of any HTML element so let's give a space and after that we have to type H R E F and then we have to enter equal then double quotation and the H R E F meaning like hyper reference all right so now it's time to place the link on where our visitor should visit so as this is web development, I would love to share the course link which I have taken to learn web development from the beginning. So I'm going to copy this course link and I'm going to paste it here in between this double quotation mark. So paste it and here we go. We have got the link added. Now let's save this file and then if I just go back to the web page and reload this page you are going to see that this will turn into a clickable link instead of a normal text so let's reload this one and let's take a look here as you can see our cursor has just changed as hand now this text is clickable link so now if I just click on this link it is going to lead us to the web page whatever we have just added as our link href all right so let's move back the course I, am, I have taken is, has 123,000 students with 36,000 plus ratings, 4.7 stars. So that was a great course. I have learned so many things from this course. All right. So now I want to give linking to this image as well. So now how to do this? We have to go back to this code again. And then we have to select this image tag as it is a self-closing tag. So we have to select from here to uh, here. Okay. So let's do this. We have to add anchor here. So let's put angle bracket A, then angle bracket. So we have started our anchor uh, tag here. And then we have to close this tag into this part. So let's put angle bracket forward slash. And then we'll have this close tag as well. So our angle bracket started here and ended here. So we have covered the full image. So full image will be clickable now. Now let's give space here. And then let's give the hyper reference href and then let's put the link i'm going to copy the link here uh, from this and then i'm going to paste it here paste now if i just save this page and then go back to our web page now just take a look our hover is sorry our cursor is not changing to anything but whenever i will reload this page it is going to turn as a hand whenever it is coming up on the on the image but it is not going to turn up as a hand as we didn't do linking on this image all right so we have done here so now if i just click on this image it will be lending us or actually leading us to a web page whatever we have given all right so now let's move back and as you can see whenever i'm clicking on either on this link or on this uh, image the link is opening into the same page which is which is not a good thing so what we have to do we have to add a targeting so that whenever someone will click here 
the page will be open in a new tab automatically so let me show you how to do this so we have to go back to this coding and then we have to add a simple code which is like on the first tag as you can see starting tag we have to give here after the href values we have to give a space and then we have to type out target and then equal then double quotation and in between the double quotation we have to go give underscore then b l a n k and then if i just save this page then let's go back to our web page reload this page and now if i just click here on this link it is going to lead us to a new page automatically and our visitor will stay on our web page by this way okay so this is a great thing and now let me do the same for this image as well now let's go back here and then we have to add this value target equal to uh, underscore blank here so let's do this here okay so our href code has been ended here so we have given a space now it's time to give like target double quotation uh, sorry equal then double quotation and then underscore blank now let's save this file and then let's go back to our web page let's reload this page and just take a look click here it is going to be open in a new tab all right so this is how you have to add links on a text or on an image and this is how you have to give the targeting to a specific target in our next video we are going to learn about link targeting so that whenever we are we are going to click on a specific link it will lead us to a specific page or specific section of our web page so i believe you have found this video helpful and if you did please give this video a like and let me know your opinion by commenting below share this video to help your friends and to learn about link bookmarking on a single page stay connected subscribe to my channel to get updates on my new uploads and i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching